What's up guys, it's Aribs US here, and we're going to do some fun stuff today in Proxmox. So in the last video I showed you how to install uh, Ceph basically, that has to be done on each node. Okay, installed on the first node. Um, here what we have to do is create our Ceph pool and our OSD object store daemon and basically um, the object store daemon is basically just kind of formatting your hard drive um, to be uh, part of the uh, you know the, the Ceph uh, file system okay so that's what the OSD is basically you're creating the OSD here um, as um, you know um, as one of your hard drives okay and as well uh, with Ceph you don't want to use any kind of hardware RAID um, it actually tells you not to do that it actually breaks it as much as you want to do that the RAID kind of redundancy over the network is done through Ceph balancing um, so really the best way of doing this now I'm just showing you of uh, one note here is what is an example but because ideally all the notes should have about the same amount of disk and uh, same space um, I would probably have uh, at least four different disks um, physical disk per node Node, and you would create OSD out of each of those extra disks just for Ceph and on top of that then you would create uh, your Ceph pool and I think that's a great way of getting uh, great redundancy and great performance uh, through Ceph. Okay so let's get going here guys uh, so I assume that you have your extra drives and like I said once again I'm going to start on my host VH01 and but this really should be done on uh, all of the hosts here um, you should create an OSD on all three of your uh, cluster members, or however many you have, they're going to be running Ceph. Um, so let's get started, guys. So basically what we do is that uh, we click on Ceph here, and then we click on OSD. That's the first step that we need to take. And we click on Create OSD right here. Okay, wait for it to create here. And I've chosen the drive uh, DevSDB. Okay, and basically if we navigate uh, away from OSD again, we should be able to see um, our uh, list of OSD disks. So you see here, have each one has OSD0. Uh, now we need to create a Ceph pool so we can actually store something on it. So click on pool and create. I call it a Reef Ceph pool here. Okay, default are, are generally fine. I click on create. And it's really that simple, guys. That's all there is to it. Let's let it finish. Um, obviously, in real life, there's a lot more things you have to take into account. Um, but if you do have uh, a bunch of your, uh, you know, Ceph nodes up there uh, with multiple OSDs uh, per server, and it's all part of the same pool there, uh, then this is a great way of getting uh, redundancy, high availability, and high performance, guys. Um, but like I said, there's more things we have to take care of in real life. I can make other videos about that. Obviously, you want to make sure you have uh, redundant networking and uh, multiple uh, network links and all kinds of other fun stuff like that, guys. So please stay tuned for the next videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.